Hi everyone and welcome back to the Napoleon Pertis channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Kate Squires. I'm Napoleon's global makeup artist. Um, I've got so much content to get to you today, um, so I'm going to get straight into it. But what I wanted to do was take you through the entire Napoleon Pertis foundation collection so you can begin to identify what foundation is going to suit your coverage needs, your finish needs and your texture needs because there's something there for everyone and it's truly an amazing collection of foundations. So let's get started. So to get nude, I gave my skin a quick cleanse with the Autopilot Moisture Mist and the Autopilot Hydrating Milk Cleanser, um, just to kind of start to nourish and retexturize my skin. I then gave my skin a bit of a boost of hydration with the Autopilot Napoleon Complex Skin Renewal Serum. And of course, not to prime is a crime, so then I've primed with the Autopilot Pre-Foundation Skin Primer. I'm going to apply each foundation on half my face so you can see the difference in coverage, texture, and the finish that it has on the skin. So in between, I'll remove each foundation with the Autopilot uh, Lift Off Makeup Remover Wipes and the Autopilot Hydrating Milk Cleanser. So first up, we have the Off Duty Tinted Moisturizer. Uh, Napoleon says cheat a natural glow with this triple duty tinted moisturizer. Um, it really is a bit of a triple threat, this product. It gives you the hydration from the moisturizer. It gives you a lightweight wash of sheer coverage. Um, and then the, with those two combined, you can kind of use it like a primer. So it will improve the, like further improve the finish of your foundation. So as I've said, it's a sheer lightweight wash of coverage. You're never going to get kind of even, um, light coverage with this it's really super sheer um, and it comes in two shades light to medium and medium to dark but because the coverage is or the pigment within it is so sheer it really suits such a wide variety of skin tones and complexions so i like to apply the off duty with the complexion perfection brush 23s and then starting in the center of the face and working out and what i'd like to do is just start to tap it all over the face um, to get a nice even dispersion of color and then i'll come back in and blend later so one thing I love about the Off Duty is that it contains ginkgo biloba, ginseng and green tea extracts. So they're all, they all contain um, lots of antioxidants. So they're going to help to hydrate and protect the skin and just help to um, give your skin that beautiful, youthful glow both now and later over time because those antioxidants are going to treat the skin as you wear this product over time. The other thing I do love about the Off Duty is it contains chamomile, which is going to help to soothe and calm the skin. So if you do have any redness, um, this product's really gonna work in your favor. And then it also contains glycerin, which helps to, it kind of helps your skin to retain its moisture so your moisture levels don't continually drop with dehydration and that type of thing. So now that I've got kind of one even coat all over my face and I've taken it a little under my eye as well because I love the hydration that this product gives. It doesn't contain any sunscreen, um, so it's safe to use around the eyes. What I'm going to do now with the Complexion Perfection Brush is just go and do big circles all over my face just to make sure it's beautifully blended, working it really well around the sides of the nose, buffing it away to nothing on the forehead, and then just coming back and finishing with a stippling motion so you can see it just gives your skin that beautiful polish almost as if you're fresh from a microdermabrasion or a laser session or something like that so you could go and apply further coverage from here if you had a few spots that need concealing but if you're just about lightweight easy to apply coverage the off duty is absolutely perfect so next up we have the autopilot bbb cream or beauty boosting balm and napoleon says a truly multitasking base BB creams have become known to be multitaskers. They're those products that deliver you um, a few things in one application. And the BBB cream does just that. Uh, when Napoleon was developing his version of the BB cream, he wanted to, Napoleon doesn't do anything by half, so he wanted to take it that next step further, and it really is a triple th threat product. So it's a hybrid of an HD foundation, a nourishing moisturizer, and an SPF of 30 plus. It gives you a, a again, a sheer lightweight coverage, but it is slightly built. If you apply one kind of one coat over the face, let it kind of just settle and marinate into the skin for 30 seconds to a minute, and then you can kind of stipple and tap a little bit more, and you will get a little bit of a build of coverage, but it's still very lightweight and sheer. So it comes in two, again in two shades, a light to medium and a medium to dark. But again, because the formulation is quite sheer or the coverage is quite sheer, it really adapts to a really wide variety of skin tones and complexions. So I like to apply the 
BBB cream with the Flawless Foundation Brush G18 because the, the, the formulation of the BBB cream is slightly richer because it's so nourishing. Um, I just like something that gives me a little bit more of a precise application so I can get it exactly where I want it. So I just wanted to talk about one of the innovative ingredients within the deck, uh, which is snail mucus. We found it to be quite controversial. However, it's, it's been used for thousands and thousands of years. It's nothing new. The ancient Greeks were using it like 2000 years ago because they believed it relieved inflammation from the skin. So what it does for our skin, um, it rejuvenates. So it heals, it conditions. If you've got dehydration, uneven skin texture, it's going to start that kind of retexturizing process and to help to heal the skin. It's also going to protect the skin. It's anti-aging for the skin. It hydrates the skin. It's actually just a wonderful ingredient. And I've really seen the effects that this product definitely has on the skin. So just starting to apply through the center of the face. One thing I love about the BB cream is it has this beautiful radiant undertone. So as well as the actual texture of the foundation being beautifully dewy, um, you've also got that radiant. So if the skin is tired, um, it's really going to give, um, give the skin its bounce back. This does offer you a bit more coverage than the off-duty tinted moisturizer. So I like to use it like a foundation and kind of take it over my lip to perfect um, the tone around the lip before going into lipstick. And you can just see when that's going on, that beautiful radiance and dewiness that it gives to the skin. And the other beautiful thing about it, it is paraben, mineral oil and fragrance free. So if you've got sensitive skin, this is a great product for you. Um, because you've got those healing and calming benefits, but also um, none of those nasties in there as well. So you can see you've got total polished dewiness and freshness, and you can just see it just gives you this beautiful radiance. So next we have the Advanced Mineral Makeup, and Napoleon says, a sophisticated mineral makeup that's down to earth. So Napoleon spent a lot of time developing this product because to him, um, for so long, all of the mineral products that were out there on the market just left the skin with this dry, talky, chalky finish. So Napoleon wanted to develop his mineral makeup within a liquid formula. So it's almost like a creamy type formula. It gives you light to medium coverage. It is definitely buildable and it comes in four shades, one, two, three, and four. So the mineral aspect of this foundation um, is a multi-mineral complex of potassium, zinc, and magnesium, which offer and deliver a powerhouse of antioxidant benefits to the skin. So helping to um, condition and protect the skin. Um, it does have a broad spectrum sunscreen of 15 plus. Um, you've got vitamins A, C, and E in there. So I like to apply the Advanced Mineral Makeup again with the Flawless Foundation Brush G18. I just find it helps me to put the foundation exactly where I need it. So working it out onto the back of my hand, you can see it's this creamy kind of formula. So working it into my brush and starting to stipple it on to the center of my face, I'm a look one. And you can see already it's starting to offer me a little bit more coverage than the two foundations I've used before. So this foundation also contains skin op technology, which means kind of has like a blurring effect on the skin. So it helps to minimize the appearance of fine lines, uneven skin texture. It's almost like a bit of a photo finish. You can see it's giving the skin that beautiful glow. Again, it's slightly dewy. It does set to, a, it's a semi matte, and then it gives you also that beautiful glow from the mineral, mineral element. It also contains Dermat Complex, which is a, but an extract from bark, but it helps to minimize the appearance of pores. So if you um, struggle with visible pores or that pores are concerned for you, this foundation is actually going to help to blur them across the skin and minimize them for a more flawless finish. Corrective microspheres are also going to give you that beautiful um, blurring effect on the skin and also kind of help to spheres build upon each other. So they help to kind of smooth out the texture of the skin. So it's also hyperallergenic um, and it's paraben, fragrance, oil, and talc free. So again, if you're sensitive to any of those things, there's no nasties in there. So you can see it's just delivered this beautiful kind of lightweight coverage. It's almost like a semi-matte texture with a little bit of radiance. It does set, you don't need to set it with a powder. You could build the coverage a little more if you wanted to, but I feel this is enough for me. It's just even that little bit of redness kind of through the center of my face or the feature focus area. Added a little bit of life to my skin. I'm glowing, I look polished. Um, it's just beautiful.
Next up is the Stroke of Genius Liquid Cashmere Foundation. So Napoleon says for skin that looks and feels as soft as cashmere. So it's a medium coverage foundation. However, you can kind of blend it out so it's not, so it's kind of light to medium. It comes in five shades, one, two, two B, three and four. So two B and two, um, they're the same depth of color, but one is more yellow based and one is more pink based. It has this ridiculously beautiful creamy texture like I've never seen before um, because it's creamy, but it kind of sets a little bit. So it wears so beautifully and so well on the skin, meaning that you don't need to then kind of powder it too much and lose that creaminess. Uh, the other really unique thing about it is it does come with a built-in brush. So it clicks. So you can squeeze a little bit out, click it off, and then start to apply to the face as needed. So I wanna show you how I apply this product at home. Um, you can just use the built-in brush if you want to, but I like to use the combination of the built-in brush and also the Buffer Brush 24R. I find it just gives me the most beautifully polished um, application. So I'm gonna to start to squeeze the product out and you'll start to see it come through. I think you can see that coming through there, the center of the brush. Don't squeeze it all the way out because you only need a really small amount of this product. A little bit goes a really long way. You can start to kind of disperse it into and through the brush. And then I'm gonna start applying through the center of my face. So you can see as it's going onto the skin, it's all instantly offering me really beautiful coverage. So the Stroke of Genius contains micro lens technology, which helps to minimize the appearance of um, fine lines and uneven skin texture. Um, it also contains biopolymer filling spheres, which again, we like spheres because they build on the texture of the skin and helps to give it a much more smoother appearance. And it does have vitamin C and E, Japanese knotweed extract and green tea extract. So your antioxidants, which are going to help the skin to look nice and youthful and give you that free radical um, protection. Then I'm gonna take the buffer brush in 35R and just buff it into my skin just for a beautifully polished effect. You don't have to do this, it's just like I'd normally use my fingers to work um, a product into the skin because this is a bit of a fuller coverage foundation. Uh, it's delivering you that medium coverage. I like the brush to really kind of buff it away at the edges so it just disappears away into nothing. So the Stroke of Genius does also contain an SPF of 20 and it's paraben, oil and gluten free. So if you are celiac or your gluten intolerances go as far as um, the cosmetics and beauty products that you use, um, this is a great foundation for you because it contains no gluten. So again, you can just see it gives the skin that real, it's not a dewiness, it's creaminess because it's not overly wet looking, but it just makes the skin look so nice and milky and creamy and rich and healthy, but it's just diffused any kind of uneven skin texture from that uh, micro lens technology and the biopolymer filling spheres. Beautiful medium coverage foundation, so easy to apply with that built-in brush. Um, and as I said, it does set itself a little bit, so you don't need to use powder on top of it if you don't want to. Next up to the plate is the Sheer Genius Liquid Foundation and Napoleon says foundation with a high IQ. So this is a medium coverage foundation. It does come in five shades, one, two, three, four, and five. So it's a medium coverage foundation that has a satin matte finish. So it's um, a matte finish, but again, the skin just still does have that um, kind of beautiful underlying radiance. It's not a dewiness and it's not luminosity. It just still looks beautifully healthy, but um, the skin texture is a little flatter than the, the foundations that we've used so far. So because it is a liquid foundation, you need to give it a good shake before you use just to make sure it's all mixed together. You can hear the little um, metal ball within the product. So I'm going to apply the She Genius Foundation with the High Definition Foundation and Concealer Brush G20. I love the application that when the this brush gives and you kind of just bounce it off the skin. So I'm using a look one and I'm going to just start stippling it onto the feature focus area of the face. Just tapping it all in. The Sheer Genius contains hydrogel technology. So hydrogel is used a lot in um, medical dressings because it has the ability to, and things like contact lenses, because it has the ability to form a second skin. So a second skin is good because you don't want your foundation to look like a mask. So it just means it's going to give you that really, deliver you a matte coverage, but still with that really nice natural raw skin texture. So it does also contain sodium hyaluronic, which helps to improve your skin's elasticity and fine 
spherical polymers and polymers are kind of like um, spheres when it comes to foundation because not only do they make the foundation look smoother on your skin but they improve the blendability so it enables it to glide onto the skin so for a satin matte foundation or a foundation that has any form of mattifying property on the skin um, the polymers are just going to help to ensure that it glides onto the skin really beautifully so it's also got SPF of 20 still with your sun protection in there um, and it's paraben free so you can see where I've got the hydrating cleanser and the serum and primer and that kind of raw freshness on this side of my skin. The, the sheer genius has just helped to mattify that down. I still look healthy. I still look, there's still a certain freshness, but it's more matte. Um, lines are blurred, pores are blurred, and it just, I love that for a matte finish, it just forms that second skin and looks so natural on the skin. So next we have the foundation stick. Napoleon says, build the best foundation and stick to it. So the stick does offer light to maximum coverage. So it is a full coverage foundation, but different application can mean that you can build it from a really light coverage up to something quite full and maximum. It comes in eight shades, one, two, two B, three, three B, four, five, and six. So two B and three B, um, again, like our other foundations as compared to the two and the three, same depth of color, just more of a pink undertone as opposed to something golden undertone. So for the stick, again, I like to use the G20 brush. Some people do find they like to go in and draw straight from the stick onto the skin. But for me, I find that delivers me too much coverage. So I like to work from the back of my hand. So I'm just going to draw some product onto the back of my hand. So the stick foundation contains beeswax, which helps uh, helps make it quite water resistant. And so in turn, it makes it quite a long wearing foundation. But the beeswax also helps your skin retain moisture. So if you do suffer from dehydration, the beeswax within the stick is just gonna to help to lock that moisture into the skin. And it does so without clogging the pores or leaving like a sticky feeling on the skin. So the stick foundation also contains aloe extract and vitamin C. So the aloe extract and the vitamin C, again, provide antioxidant protection, help to give the skin more of a youthful glow. It also contains a broad spectrum sunscreen of um, SPF 15 plus and is paraben free. So the beautiful thing about the stick is it just layers and builds so beautifully um, that you can actually use it as a concealer as well. And you can see it's giving me quite flawless coverage. I could push it just a little bit further if I wanted to, but I'm quite happy with where that's going. And so you can see this, this foundation stick does have more of a creamy texture on the skin. It's it's a matte creamy. If you wanted to mattify it further, you can then just go and use a powder wherever you might need it. But I find um, it's not a totally flat matte texture. It still does have that nice creaminess, which means it only feels and looks more natural on the skin as well. So next we have the China Doll Foundation. Um, and Napoleon says, for pretty as porcelain skin. So the... China Doll Foundation is a cream to powder foundation. It delivers full coverage or full to maximum coverage, but again, um, like all of the Napoleon Purtis foundations, you can kind of just apply a little bit only where you need it, um, and the coverage will and the texture will kind of blend out um, to nothing, so you've got a really natural finish. So if you only need just a little bit of coverage, um, you can just kind of put it where you need it. So the China Doll did come in five shades, but I'm very excited to say that we now have a sixth shade. B1 is back now as 1B. So like a lot of the other Napoleon Purtis foundations, the China Doll does offer you a bit of a triple threat. It acts as your foundation and your powder with that cream to powder finish, but because of the coverage that it builds, it also doubles as a concealer. So like the foundation stick, you can really build this one up and use it when you're spot concealing. And because you're using the same, exactly the same color, it will just blend and fuse beautifully so for a really flawless effect. So like the Advanced Mineral, this one's a bit more of a cream foundation. Um, and I'm going to use the 19B, the Artist Foundation Brush 19B to apply this one just because again, it's a bit of a fuller texture. I like the density and the firmness of this brush to really blend it quite easily over my skin. So starting in the center of the face as always. So ingredient deck, uh, the China Doll in um, includes an ingredient called carrageenan, which is a derivative from, or an extract from red algae, which really helps to nourish and protect the skin. So in a formulation that sets to a powder finish, it's great that you've still got that, that nourishment and the conditioning um, properties within the foundation. It also contains aloe extract, vitamin C and E, um, A, C and E, sorry. So again, you've got your antioxidant protection, helps to give the foundation or keeps the foundation looking beautiful and youthful on the surface of the skin. 
It's also got sodium hyaluronate, on it, which is going to assist in maintaining or keeping the skin looking beautiful and smooth and help the help out with the, your skin's elasticity and, and boosting the skin's elasticity. Um, it's an oil-free formula um, and it does have a an SPF of 15 plus in it as well. And there we go. Just, oh, I better give it a blend. Beautiful, flawless porcelain coverage. You can see it's starting to set to more of that powdery type finish. Perfectly smooth, per perfectly blurred. Um, the coverage from this foundation is just quite incredible. Next, we have the Boudoir Mist Spray Foundation. Uh, and Napoleon says, love is in the airbrush. So the Boudoir Mist is like having a little airbrush machine in your um, back pocket or in your makeup bag. It's a spray foundation. The Boudoir Mist is like a light tint. So you can either use it as a foundation or you can use it as almost like a finishing spray. It's not a setting spray. It won't actually set your foundation, but it will just finish off the complexion by just giving in that um, kind of one little shot of smoothing or fusing um, kind of coverage fusion. Um, which is beautiful, but I wanted to show you today um, the coverage that it does give just when using it as a foundation because it's quite incredible and it's a lot easier to use um, than it's perceived to be at first glance. What I would normally do with the Boudoir Mist is I would conceal under my eyes and conceal any areas of discoloration and then go in and spray over the top um, because if you conceal after, you're kind of ruining that beautiful diffusion that um, the Boudoir Mist actually offers you. I said it's a light tint, but the amazing thing about the Boudoir Mist is I've actually used it to cover tattoos before. So when we're, when we're in a backstage environment and models have bruises or um, cuts and grazes on their legs or tattoos that need to be covered, if you um, spray this in kind of fine layers, letting it dry between each one, or sometimes you can speed up the drying process with a hairdryer, it actually will cover tattoos and it covers bruises sometimes without even having to color correct first. Um, so the pigment is quite incredible, um, but when you're just using it as kind of one light even spray it does give you a light tint so it comes in five shades shades b1 1 2 3 and 4 so hold the can about 20 centimeters away from the face and spray in circular motions so i'm going to spray through the center of my face over my chin over my cheek a little bit on my forehead so you can see it's just starting to get that beautiful light tint. It looks quite dewy when it goes onto the skin because it is a water-based product, but once the water actually evaporates, you are left with more of a, a semi-matte foundation. Beautiful. So just while that's setting, I'll talk you through the ingredient deck. It does contain um, acai extract, which is a powerhouse of antioxidants. Um, it's one of those superfoods that we're all eating and putting into our smoothies at the moment because we know how good it is for us. So it's great that we do have it in a foundation because it's just going to help to condition the skin, fight free radicals, um, and again, give the skin that youthful glow. But what I also love about the acai is that it does help to fight the aging process. So it's a great anti-aging foundation. It does also contain acerola fruit extract which um, has a really high content of vitamin C. So it helps to improve skin tone. Um, and again, being a fruit um, extract, it also does have those anti um, antioxidant properties as well. Uh, and you'll notice once it does set, it uh, it's becomes quite water resistant. So for body makeup, for shoots and that type of thing, this is quite amazing. If you're a makeup artist, it's great for things like weddings because the wear time on the skin is just quite incredible. So you can see it's just nice, lightweight coverage. Um, so super easy to apply. I haven't blended. I haven't done anything with this. You don't even need to do that kind of tapping motion around the jawline to um, get it to blend out. It just, the mist just does it all for you. If you had a few more kind of problem areas or you had applied your foundation and you wanted to use it as a finishing spray, you can just kind of really lightly mist it or burst it over the skin. And you can see I'm doing that with my eyes open. Um, so it does just really make for easy application. Beautiful for smoothing the decolletage. Um, I could continue to build that coverage if I wanted to, but I'm just light with how, happy with how beautiful and light that tint um, has given me for my skin. So I've just left that for a few more seconds now just to start to, um, probably the time that it would take to perfect um, the rest of the face um, or complete your makeover because um, I just wanted to show you how it does start to set to more of a matte finish. So you can see I've still looked, my skin, skin still looks fresh, but I've definitely lost that, starting to lose that dewiness that you can see through the center of my face. It is a semi-matte, so it's never going to, go, going to go totally matte, but if you do have an oilier skin type and the fact that it is so water resistant and smudge proof, it's beautiful for an oily skin type because the wear time is just incredible. 
So last but definitely not least is the Camera Finish Powder Foundation and Napoleon says your ultimate finishing touch. The Camera Finish is so widely known as a uh, finishing powder or a setting powder, but we can't forget that it can actually be used as a foundation as well. So it's a powder foundation. Um, it does come in a compact with a sponge. Um, it's kind of like a three-in-one. It, it covers, conceals, and sets all in one. It does come in 10 shades, N1 to 5 and G1 to 5. N1 is the lightest and most porcelain, which is, is the shade that I like to use. And then N5 is the deepest. And then the Gs kind of slot in between that. So there is a really great spectrum of color and a really great spectrum of undertones within those shades as well. So I like to use the 24-hour buffer brush for the camera finish when I'm using it as a foundation. If you just want something really quick to chuck on um, that's also going to control shine, um, which is great if you have an oily skin tone, the camera finish is great for you. So I'm just loading up my brush and I'm just gonna start to, again, stipple it and kind of buff as I'm going into the skin. So the camera finish can, contains a matrix rebuilding complex, which has kind of gives it an enhanced anti-wrinkle effect on the skin. Um, it kind of helps to lift the skin as well so which is great within a powder because powders can be known to accentuate dehydration it also contains photonic green green crystal technology which means the colors kind of adapt to your own pigment so it means it's kind of like your own personal filter if anything i'm just using the side of the brush to tab a little bit more coverage around the side of my nose and you can just build and build and build until you get the coverage that you need. But you can see when it goes on as compared to the other side of my face. It's totally mattifying. It's given me just a really nice lightweight um, coverage. Great if you're in a rush. Um, but then again, you can use that over the top of your foundation um, to either set it. It will give your foundation more coverage. So just be conscious of that. It's not a translucent powder. Camera finish is paraben free. So there's no nasties in there for you. Um, and it is really the beautiful ultimate finishing touch. So that's all of the foundations. If you have any further questions about coverage, texture, where to apply, how to apply, what to apply it with, drop us a comment below. Also, we have a full look tutorial coming up and we'd love to know what looks you'd love to see executed on YouTube. So please drop us a comment below. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'd love it if you gave us the thumbs up. Thanks for now and I'll see you next time.